Lately I've been on and off with my bookcase build and right now I gotta make all the dowels to hold the shelves up. I've went ahead and gotten all my shelves cut and today I instead of using my shooting board to cut things on I want to actually make some bench hooks. So I have a big piece of ash that I want to cut up and use. These are going to be four inches wide. It's going to be a very simple build and it's going to be two separate hooks. That way you can expand them out or keep them close together depending on what the length of your material that you're wanting to cut is. So here we are, here is the board. It's completely flattened now. And I even went over the top side with my cabinet scraper to really smooth it out. And I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of undecided. I really like the natural edge on it. I might, cause I'm gonna rip it down in the middle anyway. I might leave those for the outside edges. So here we go. Look, this is almost, look at that. I don't know if you guys can really see the grain pattern that well but I really like it I haven't ever worked with ash at all it's fairly easy to cut and even to plane makes really really nice shavings the next step I need to do is go ahead and cut two inches off the top and then another two inches again one section will be for the top of the bench hook the other two set inch section will be for the underside to actually hook onto the bench we'll leave the live edge for the actual hook piece to be showing Walk by. Walk by. Walk by. Walk by. 
Alright guys, well there you are finished up. Here's the live edge bench hooks. The two hook pieces are two inches a piece and they have about five or six coats of spray on lacquer on these. They turned out really nice. I like them and I got the idea from uh, Roy Underhill because of the separation part. I like that because if you have a longer piece you can really spread it apart. But these are quickly made they take maybe like 15 minutes to cut everything up and form them and then you just have to wait for the glue to dry and then you can spray on the lacquer or you don't have to spray anything on you can leave them natural thanks for watching guys if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you guys are new hit that subscribe button and check out all the other videos for woodworking blacksmithing different things like that hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next video